being in your 20s like everybody is feeling so lost like i'm becoming an adult how do i create the life i want to live like i don't even know the life i want to live Again, I went to LA and I visited some of my friends. My friend Elise and I, she drove us up and we stayed over at Noreen and Thomas's apartment. We have all known each other like since high school. It was really exciting because for me, I live at home and I'm a remote worker. I'm such a homebody, but the thing is I feel like I'm so, like I've grown so comfortable to the point that I'm like complacent and it's like hard for me to imagine how I want my life to look like like i'm becoming an adult how do i create the life i want to live like i don't even know the life i want to live what am i working towards like i'm working all of this much but like what what is there next um but seeing noreen i got to see what their life is like it was really cool and it made me excited here it is good morning yay <laughs> noreen's making breakfast we're having crepes and bacon and we're gonna have some fun drinks Black sesame. <gasps> trip to LA with Noreen and Thomas and Elisa. We got to go out and I don't know, it was really fun and it was really exciting. Obviously, I don't expect like every day to look like that, but the fact that days can look like this is something that I just don't get when I'm at home. It was exciting and it gave me something to look forward to, which I don't know, I just haven't really had anything that like, okay, what am I looking forward to next? And it's so weird because it's like, <coughs> let's be this paradox that I have so much time but i don't really know what to do with it and i wouldn't want any less of it of course but how do i make it so that my work life balance is better and then like how am i enjoying life outside of work because i get a lot of fulfillment from work but i don't want that to be my only thing because it's just like okay i'm working so much and i'm getting creative fulfillment but it's like what more is there and i don't know i think just living at home it's hard to imagine that and try to figure out what that is for me but also figuring out like am i just saving so much of my money that i'm not really enjoying my life and you know, I'm in my 20s and this is such a prime time of my life. Like, what should I be doing other than what I'm already doing? When I visited Noreen, at least, it looked like just a jam-packed day. And I was like, holy moly, this is so cool. We woke up at like noon and then Noreen had made us crepes and bacon and like made us like black sesame and matcha latte. And it was so good. It feels so special. Maybe it's feeling special because of the fact that it's once in a while, but if that's the case, like I still love it. Afterwards, we went to Venice Beach area where there's a bunch of strips of like shopping malls. We went to a pop-up event for Madewell, I think. They had like options for free jeans. None of us won free jeans, unfortunately, but they were giving out like free popcorn and free flowers. And I was just like, oh my goodness. And just like being at the mall, I got to see so many cool people and like wearing like such nice outfits. And I was like, whoa, this is like the type of outfit I would want to be wearing. And then like just getting to talk to people and like seeing people who like look to be at least close-ish to my age i don't know i think it just gave me something to like look forward to and it was just really cool oh my gosh also we went to this like this place called apple doll and they had like those vintage photo booths and so we went there we got a little photo strip of us but it took like a kind of a while and honestly they lost my first one i did another one and they let me do it for free because they took the other one but it was really cool and i felt really cute and pretty it's like i've never gotten to do something like this so i guess it's all about like you know those new experiences it was really exciting. Then we went and we got lunch and had our sandwiches. We took them over to like Venice Beach where we went to go eat. Except it was super windy. And like, it was so windy that like literally a seagull was trying to fly and it got pushed backwards. It was nuts. 
after that we were walking back to the original place we were at and there was a vintage store so we stopped by there and it was really cool we all didn't end up getting anything because Loki was overpriced but what do you expect we're in Venice Beach after we went to the vintage store we decided to go back and we went to the shopping area checked out this one place but it was like super expensive so like that's okay afterwards it was free museum went to the La Brea tar pits and we only had like 15 more minutes left before the tar pit museum ish closed we made the most of those 15 minutes to be honest so it was really fun it was just really pretty it's like right in within walking distance to LACMA and LACMA was also included in it and I haven't been there in like two years so I was super excited it was really cool but I was getting really overwhelmed <laughs> and it was really musty and I was just getting really overstimulated because there were so many people in such close quarters and obviously I wanted to like look at the cool art but it was kind of hard to do when like everyone was so close and there were so many people and like I definitely want to go back and I'd be willing to pay but it was still like a fun experience we had also in between before going to the museums we had also gone to like this little flea market and it was just so cool like it was literally like right next to Venice yeah we had gone to the flea market just like looked around and there were so many cute things um nothing that we ended up buying I liked it more than the flea markets that I go to here in San Diego just because I think a big reason of why I think is because I'm not like nervous I'll accidentally see people from high school that's a whole different thing but it was really nice getting to look around and stuff and even if I don't buy anything, it's cool to kind of see my style and like see the things that I'm like liking and not liking because I feel like it's so overwhelming when I'm actually starting to buy things because I'm like, shoot, like what, what do I really like? But I think that by looking at things even is just like helping me narrow down and like, okay, I like this and I don't like this. After the museums, we had gone into get dinner and we ended up going to this Korean place called Dan Song Sa and it's one of my favorite places. Like my friends and I would go there in college. Prices are not even terrible. It was honestly such a long wait they said it's only gonna be a 20 to 30 minute wait it ended up being 55 minutes and i know it because i timed it 55 minutes but the food was so good and it was like not a bad price and everybody got to like order different things and we got to like share and try a bunch of different food and it was just really good afterwards we got dessert and we got some bingsu at okabing and it was literally just right across the street got boba right after and then that was pretty much the end of the night it was all super tiring it was like what we were out for like 12 hours basically um it was just a great time <sighs> Now we're going to go back home. Fun day! I had such a great time in LA and I had so much fun getting to spend so much time with my friends and just doing so many really cool things that I just don't normally do and getting all these new experiences. I feel like I glow differently when I'm around the people that I love and wow, like this, this is what life can be like. It's really cool to see what happens, what can happen when I move out and give me something to look forward to, but obviously I cannot do that like immediately. I can't do that tomorrow. So something I like to do is try to ask myself like, what are some things that I did that I can bring with me to my life at home for now. I'm remote and I should take advantage of that and since I don't have a ton to spend on rent, I don't pay rent at all luckily. I feel like I've like been so conditioned to like just be saving, saving, saving. Like okay let's say I finally move out or I finally buy some place to live, then I'm gonna be spending so much more and I'm gonna miss the times when it's like I didn't have that much expense. Is I should be taking advantage of that now. That baby stuff looks like going to cafes and like trying new foods and places. That's one of the big things, but I think most of all, like I'm just excited to be around people that I love and trying new things. And I'm just excited for the life I can live. Don't know exactly what that's going to look like, but I'm excited that I get to build it and it's inspired me. It just gave me something to like look forward to building and creating with my life. And I think that with being in your 20s, like everybody is feeling so lost and I am not an exception to that at all. I feel like I always ask my friends like, what do you guys do in your free time because I I'm very lucky that I have a lot of it. Sometimes too much of a good thing is not always a good thing because I'm always like, if there's something I can be doing to make the day better, like I'm gonna do it, but then now every day is like that. And so it's like, what is next? 
where do I go from here? <laughs> and I'm working a lot, but what is there that I'm working towards? Seeing what my friends are doing and like what life they have, specifically who have moved out of the house already, because I think for me that's like, okay, that's gonna be probably the most logical next step of when it comes to like adulthood, um, is moving out. I think I need a like a motivation to move out because I'm really happy here and I wanna stay as long as I can. I think that there needs to be this good balance that I wanna still grow and like become independent and things like that and maybe have Having that as a structure will help me knowing that I have to like be cooking for myself because that's something that I'm really lucky that my mom does for me I think it's just I want to stop being like as complacent and like feeling like there is more things to do and more things to grow and I think it's just very easy for me to lose sight of that because I'm so comfortable like at home and where I'm at currently takeaway from that is even though these are like really great I don't want it to be like this escapism it's great to have like something to look forward to but when it comes to like asking my friends like what they do I guess in their daily life realistically I can't move out like tomorrow and I I wouldn't even want to but i try to ask myself this was really great and like even when i go on like trips um that are even longer and i would want to go there like for example when i went to boston i was like oh my gosh this is so cool i want to live here right? i could totally see myself living here but since i can't do that right now what are parts of that trip that i liked that i can take back home to me in my life in san diego and so for that for me this trip um to la was i think that means like challenging myself to be going out more often it's harder because like i'm in the suburbs and like everything's so long and i guess i'm afraid of like like I've lived here for so long that I it's almost like not as special even though people come literally to San Diego to like vacation you know so I'm gonna try to see like how I can challenge myself to be exploring more adding in more fun to those things and not just working all the time you know okay so something that I try to ask myself if I lived in LA what would I be doing there what is it there now that I've had a good time that I can bring down in my daily life here in San Diego while I'm still living at home oh one thing I want to challenge myself to do is like since I'm remote working like in a coffee shop maybe not the whole day because like especially days i have meetings like maybe after my all my meetings are done like going to a coffee shop and working there for like the afternoon and just like being out and like being around people that aren't just like in my home it's just hard because like i love being like comfortable maybe i need to be growing past that and getting out of my comfort zone a little bit so that i can see more of the world and see more of what i like and just expose myself to like being outside oh a big thing that i learned is the one way that i want to be going outside regularly is taking classes that i can like learn in and like maybe be around people regularly but just just like having a certain structure and time that like I'm regularly going somewhere like a ceramics class like I saw some of the decor in Noreen and Thomas's apartment I was like oh my gosh this is so cool but I'm not a knickknacks person um so I don't see myself like going to like the ceramics class but then she was like what if you did a ceramic class but you you like made plates and bowls and I was like that has a practical use I would love doing that and yeah because I like the act of doing it but it's not necessarily like okay, what am I going to do with it afterwards I want to keep it so another doing is like maybe going to signing up for a ceramics class challenging myself to leave the house more and like maybe going to a bar even if things are a little bit more expensive i think that i should spend some more because money is great and i'm very lucky to have been able to save so much but i just don't want to be saving so much that i don't even know what i'm saving for number one number two i might be saving money but like i'm wasting my time i'm only this age and this time once and i just don't want to move out of the house someday and like i'm starting to pay rent or paying like a mortgage or something like that wishing for the times again Again, that i wasn't having these huge expenses maybe my goal is going to be trying to like challenge myself to not feel because i feel so guilty when it comes to spending challenge myself to spend more money and not feeling guilty especially when the amount i'm spending is probably going to be less than i'd spend for rent you know so that's what i'm thinking about i had such a good time and i think that just in general like i love spending time with my friends especially my friends from high school who like have known me for so long well actually each of these friends Thomas I've known since elementary school, Lisa I've known since middle school, and I've known since high school, and now we're all graduated from college and like becoming, we are young adults, like, you know, and getting to see how much we've grown and like the lives that we're creating. There's just something so cool and magical about that. I just realized like how happy I am and when I'm with them and seeing what life can be like and it makes me excited and that's something that, that's a feeling that I've been looking for. Yeah, I hope that I get to have more days like those because I heard this one quote where it was like, how you spend your days is how you spend your life. And like that, that's how I want to spend my life. I'll leave it at that. Hope that you feel similarly and I'd love to hear what your dream day, dream life would look like. A girl is trying to figure out her work-life balance and live life more and like have more things to look forward to. This weekend just reminded me of that and I'm so grateful. So that's all for now. Thanks for sticking around. See you next time. Bye.